Line designs typically include both static lines and a dynamic line. They enhance each other. They are synergy together when it comes to creating a beautiful line design. I'm starting with River Cane that I've placed across the top of the container. There's foam in my container. And as you can see, I've just created a grid across the top. And then I've added some carnations and some button pom-poms and a little bit of ruscus. These are my basing techniques and I wanted to do those first so that I can build on top of that. These are groupings again that are just combined together in color impact and textural impact that I created at the very base. It also helps with my stability with the river cane that I've added to this. I just hairpin this in with taped wire. The tape on the wire creates tension so that when I put that into then the foam, it's gonna hold it in place. If I just used a plain wire, what would happen is that it may become loose. So I've added that in, adding my basing that also helps with that stability, but I've created this strong horizontal static line. And what this does then when it's horizontal, it, when it's across the top of the container, it emphasizes width is what I really wanna do. It's not a vertical one if we're going sideways with this. And what it does create this, what happens is it becomes restful. It becomes soothing because when we think about looking at the horizon, whether it's a sunrise or a sunset, what happens is, is that it becomes um, peaceful when you think about it. It's beautiful and it's relaxing and that's what a horizontal static line does. Static line is your weight. It's your emphasis in your design. And then when you add your dynamic line to this, which we're going to add, what happens is, is that that is what creates the energy and the excitement in the design. It can be dramatic, it can be create life and action and motion and all these different things depending upon what type of a line that you're going to add to it. I'm going to start first of all with some ruscus and I want to add the ruscus to this and what it's going to do is I'm just going to insert it into my foam and follow the line movement but it's above and it's a, it's a lot softer already just because we're going to move it. I want to move it in just a little bit. Just because it's not that stiffness that we see already done with the river cane. Now you can massage it a little bit to get it to lay down. That's exactly what I want it to do. We're going to add a second one to this and insert it right into our foam and just kind of do a little bit of layering to this so that it stays put. It adds to that line movement that we're creating. Now we're going horizontal, so it's that beautiful line movement that we had. I also want to add another layer to this just to emphasize it. And I've got some soft kiwi that I want to create with this. And I just want to give it a little bit of a point to insert that into my foam. And the kiwi is also not just adding texture to this because that's what it's doing, but it also adds to my line movement. It also then helps me control my ruscus just a little bit more when we're developing this. So giving it to a point so it doesn't break my foam. And just keep following that line movement that we've already established. And then I also want to just keep emphasizing this. I have some quince that I want to add to this. And all this does is keep giving me layerings and layerings, but it also adds textures, it also adds dimension. Every time I do this, an interest, and that's what we want, is to create interest in our design. And I'm just going right down through my basing that I've already created, and just keep adding these beautiful elements to this. So the product textures is what really makes this just to give me a beautiful horizontal. Now I also want to come back with a little bit more ruscus and kind of emphasize this back area just a little bit more. You can always bind it if you need to just to create that movement that you want because any of these um, dynamic lines can be cascading, they can be contorted, they can do all, they can be any shape that you want them to be. And they just add that soft line movement to that. So you can see how it's taken it from that strong structural 
of the River King that we added to something that's nice and soft and it's smooth. Now I've got a few spaces that I just want to take a few carnations and just continue those groupings just to continue that basing technique. Just tuck that down and like I, as I said before it also adds some great support to this. And I also want to come across here and tuck you in with my lavender groupings with these beautiful floral carnations. So now you can see this line movement is just beautiful. It's cascading it through. Line designs create emotion. And that's what's exciting about getting, you know, when you think about branches and getting excited about branches and just doing something different than what everybody else is seeing, just having some fun with static lines and dynamic lines. And it's those dynamic lines that really create that interest. So think about the designing the next time and enjoy using line.